What we're going to be doing in today's video is changing the port tuning on the box behind me. All right, so we've got the 212s here and a uh, big ass ports adjustable six inch arrow port. You can see it goes, goes into the box a good way. It's probably about right there or so. Uh, anyway, so that's what we're going to do in today's video. Um, if you want to see how I do that, then just keep watching. So why am I doing this for one? Well, because I really like them low lows, you know? I like to move air. I like to, you know, get a little nasty with it. And this box gets really loud in the like 35 to 40 Hertz range. Um, but once I start dipping into the 20s, like 26, 25, it really starts falling off a lot. And if I try to play anything lower than that, the subs will start bottoming out, even at low volume. Uh, and I don't like that. I like to play, I like to play in the twenties. I like to play bass modified music, you know, all that stuff. So that's why we're doing this. Um, right now, the box is just a little shy of three cubic feet. I know that's a little small for these subs, but as you can see, the only way to go any bigger would be to delete the back seat. And I got work and got to carry around kids. So that's not an option. So this box right now is tuned to about 33 Hertz, 34 Hertz. And I just used a simple, uh, port length calculator to figure that out. This is the max length of this six inch arrow port. This is the whole length of the, the big ass port sends you. And I'd really like to tune it to about mm, 28, somewhere in there. And so as you can see, what I did was I bought another one. I bought another six inch port with the adjustable segments in it. That way I can use the segments from this port and just add them, just add them to the port I already have. Now we, we're gonna have to get it close to about 30 inches long, you know, based on that calculator. Uh, and well, let me show you this. So big ass ports send you this sheet, right? So we got the 10 inch port, the eight inch, and then the six inch. So if you use every link that they give you, the seven inch, the four inch, the two inch, and the one inch, you end up with about 20 inches, 20 and a half. And so I'm gonna have to add another 10 inches to this port. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to do that, but I'm just gonna disassemble that port and we'll add some links in and just see how long we can make it and see if we can at least get somewhere in the 27, 28 Hertz port tuning length range or as close to that as we can get, at least somewhere under 30 Hertz. That way I could dip into the 20s a little bit on my music. So let me get this other port, uh, port pulled apart and then I'll bring you guys back. Okay, so as you can see, I got this port pulled apart. I had to pull off all my stickers. It's all right, I can always get more stickers. But anyway, 
You can see I always hold these joints together with just this aluminum tape. Uh, so I just pulled the tape off and uh, pulled this, you know, this was sitting right there like that. Okay, well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add this four inch link here to the top. There we go in there, okay. So we just made the port four inches longer. Now, based on my calculations with the port length calculator, just that adding that piece alone brings us to about 32 Hertz. Now, I wanted to add the seven, piece, the seven inch piece on there, but let me show you why I didn't do that. See, the door is shut now. And we are almost hitting the back glass. If I would have brought that up any taller, for one, we would, we'd hit the glass back here and then we would just, it would just be too tall, right? Like we wouldn't have any, I just, I wouldn't have any room, you know? Like I can barely fit my fingers back there and that's about it. So that's as tall as we're gonna be able to go on the top. And then we might be able to add another link down there in the bottom. Not much of one though, maybe that one inch piece. I don't know, we'll have to see, but we're tuned to about 32 Hertz right now. So, you know, that's, that's something, that's at least moving in the right direction. Okay guys, quick little update. Um, let me show you the port as it is right now. So I was actually able to fit that little one inch piece in there too. You can't even see it because it's completely covered by tape. But we basically have the four inch piece and then the one inch piece. And so we got another inch out of it. So right now we've added five inches, right, right in there to the port length, which brings us to about a 29 Hertz tuning. We haven't added anything in the box yet. And as you can see, it does close man it is close can you see how close that is right there we're talking like half an inch but anyway i think it'll be okay what i'm gonna do now i have to go to work i'm gonna drive around with it like this play some lower note uh modified music see how it sounds maybe we won't even try to tune lower if i like the way it sounds today then we'll be done tuned at 29 hertz ish uh, so I'm just going to play with it like this today and then decide if I want to try to add a little bit more port into the box to tune it even lower. I'll just kind of make that decision after the day goes by. Okay, guys, well, I've been driving around most of the day with it tuned. What did we decide it was tuned at? Maybe 30 hertz, something like that. Sounds good, it sounds better. It will definitely dip into the 20s a little bit. Still gets a little out of control and loses a lot of output on the really like low, low note songs. But again, right, like I'm asking a lot of my system to do something like that. But we're gonna go a little lower. We're gonna push it a little bit harder, a little bit further and see what we can do. So what I did was I had to change the port length on the inside of this box. So basically, I had this two inch piece that was in there and I replaced it with a four inch piece. Hard to see, yeah, see I got the one incher and then this four incher instead of the two inch piece. And then there's that bottom bell piece right there at the bottom. So we added two inches, added two inches down into the box. Now, we're done. We can't really do anything further. Uh, if we go any further this way, we're going to run into the back hatch. If we go any deeper into the box, we're going to be too close to the back wall and we might be picking up some port noise. We may have already gotten there. It might be too close as it is, in which case I'm going to have to pull this back out and just, and just cut my losses. But I'm going to try it like this. We're tuned right now at about... 29 28 ish uh the port should be if i'm doing my math right 
about 26 inches long. Let me add it five. Yeah, between 20, 26 and 27 inches, if I'm doing my math right. Anyway, um, so yeah, because we added four inches to the top, five inches to the top. Anyway, it's about 26, 27 inches long, which is going to give us a port tuning around the 29 hertz range. Um, so I'll uh, get this all tied up with some, uh, some tape just to make sure it doesn't fall off into the box. And I'll drive around the rest of the day with it like that. And then I'll give you guys an, up get, an update and let you know how it sounds. So guys, I actually have this sub pulled for another reason, but check out that port. Look how deep in that box that port is. I mean, we're about an inch and a half off the back there. I've heard people say you can go right up to about a quarter of an inch, excuse me, a quarter of the diameter of your sub, of your port. Man, I can't talk today. Off the back wall before you start getting any type of turbulence. I don't know. We'll, <laughs> we'll see. If, if I start getting some weird point, port noise from this, I'll, uh, I'll just have to pull that out and, and take some off the backside there. I think that's going to be a problem, but I don't know. What's the worst that could happen? We try it out and see how it goes. But anyway, that's what it looks like. That's how long that port is. All right, guys. So uh, update on the port length uh, tuning change. We're tuned somewhere below 20 hertz. Excuse me, not 20 hertz, somewhere below 30 hertz. We're tuned in the 20s. 29, 28, somewhere in there, something like that. I've been driving around like this for about a week. Uh, this thing digs pretty deep now. Um, I'm happy with the change. Surprisingly, I'm not getting any weird port noise or anything. I really thought I would be. Uh, that port is about an inch and a half off the back wall of that sub box. Doesn't seem to be affecting it negatively, uh, which surprises me. But like I said before, I've read some forums that you, you only have to be about a quarter of the diameter of your port, which for a six inch port, two, four, six would be uh, two inches would be 33%, so somewhere under two inches, which that seems hard for me to believe, but I'm not getting any port noise out of mine, so I guess it's true. Um, anyway, tuned to about 28 hertz, and I love the way this thing sounds. It hits the low notes really well, digs into the 20s, no problem. Um, so anyway, without further ado, let me show you guys how this thing is performing.